Hey, good morning. I hope and pray that you're doing well. And first and foremost, please keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Do not give in to the world's schemes, their plans, their mandates, the things that are that the world is trying to push upon you. Please stand strong in these last days. Before I go any further, I do want to remind you that I have another channel. It is called Jesus is Coming. So if you ever see this channel go down, please go there. And also, if you're viewing this on the Jesus is Coming channel, my other channel is For Christ's Glory, Amen. So with that out of the way, I pray you're doing well. And I want to remind all those who are listening that we, in fact, are in the last days and that we must understand, we must that we need to operate in wisdom, in diligence, and endurance. Scripture tells us that we must have endurance in these last days. There is the propensity to, to give in and submit to the enemy, to completely give everything that Jesus Christ has given you over to the enemy. When you place your authority and you surrender that to, to the devil. It is not a good thing. You need to operate in wisdom, please, in these last days. I've seen a very disturbing video that a brother in the Lord had created. And it, it is enlightening to those who, have, who do not have eyes to see. But for those who have saw this from a million miles away, everything going on around us. It is, it is, it's just reassuring. But for those who can't see, or maybe those who have got rose-colored glasses on, those who are seeing a partial image of what the Lord is trying to show us, and are willing to surrender everything that Jesus Christ has done for you, to surrender their birthright for a bowl of soup, It is, it is disturbing because I have seen that so many that were called within the body of Christ have fallen. So many have submitted not only to man but to the enemy and his schemes and his plans and his lies. If you have not partaken in the venom of the serpent, it's a good friend of mine calls it... Uh, Satan's loogie, which if you know what a loogie is, it's really disgusting. <laughs> but if you've not participated in the venom of the serpent and taken the mark of the beast, I'm here to encourage you, please do not do that. There are literal, those who are called within the body of Christ that are, that are fighting against this. And I pray again that you operate in wisdom, that you open up the word of God for yourself. Before you make a decision, if you were on the fence, first and foremost, I am telling you, the Lord is telling you that this is the mark. But if your pastor is telling you that this is not the mark, I pray you, before making a choice or a decision to surrender everything, to go before the Lord, to open up scripture, to go before the Lord and to, to truly study, to open up, to, to get a Greek Bible, or to at least just go online and go into the concordance, the Hebraic, the Hebrew and Greek concordance. There's many uh, websites that you can do this and do a study for yourself. This is important that we do not participate in this. You know, when you do a study on the mark, uh, mark itself actually means an, an impression, a, a sharp object, a sharp instrument. Mark means palisades, and if you know and have seen how this venom operates, one of the attributes is it creates this spike protein that they literally, that they literally call palisades. You must operate endurance and wisdom. 
when you have looked into this, you will understand that yes, 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 and indeed, that the name of our enemy is within this. Literally, his name is within this. The man that discovered the one of the many toxins within this venom, the light emitting portion of it, was literally named after Lucifer. So you must, if you're on the fence about this, you must study this. You must study about that, you know, the thing that you're waiting for. You know, the proverbial thing placed in your hand or on your forehead. Understand that that technology is actually within the venom that they're giving you. Just like when you pull out your credit card. Pull out your credit card and look at that back right now. See that metal strip on the back of that? That metal strip is actually millions, possibly billions of small metallic particles. And that's programmable. The item which is being injected into those without eyes to see does in fact have not only metal particulates in it, but, a, but an item called graphene oxide. Please study what that is. Please study and do research on what that actually is. The thing in which you're waiting for, the capability is already being injected into your body. You don't need to place anything under your skin or a tattoo, though that may come I still believe that that still will come. The thing in which you're waiting for is already, the technology is already being injected into your body. I truly believe this has something to do with 5G that is not completely turned on yet. But once they do, those items that are within the venom of the serpent actually react with High frequency microwave radiation, which in fact 5G is. When you look into what this does to you, the CRISPR technology, how it actually goes in and, and, and literally cuts open your DNA, and it has the capability of replacing where it was cut with another strand of DNA, because again, this is not what they say it is. This is to modify you, or to change you, or to alter you, or to imprint you, or to mark you. Please understand this. Throughout scripture, anytime it mentions a right hand, that is a symbolization of who you are submitted to. And also symbolizing the hand in which you work with. Please understand these things. Utilize wisdom. Please utilize wisdom. The forehead. The forehead. Who, what you put your affections to. What your thoughts or are to. Who in your mind are you, are you worshiping? Who in your mind are you submitted to? Please, anybody within the sound of my voice must operate in wisdom in these last days. The item that you're waiting for is already being injected into your arm. It goes through your whole body. Once everything is in place, once the, the followers of Jesus Christ are removed off the earth, they'll implement everything. Trust me, this will happen. This is scriptural. I hope you understand what I'm saying, and I hope you hear the sound and the words I'm saying. What you're waiting for is already here. Scripture tells us, and I've said this multiple times, that the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. That means the enemy is already here. He's been here since the very beginning, deceiving people. 
He's not waiting to flip the light switch and say, Peekaboo, I'm here. He is here. He is running this whole show. We see the great falling away happening before our very eyes. We just saw the peace and security conference that just took place. Everything is aligning up. People, please open your eyes to these last days. This is, in fact, the mark. I hope you hear the urgency in my voice. This is a call for the endurance of the saints. I can go into much more detail, but this has always been a heart issue. Where is your heart? Is your heart for this world? Is it your heart for these things? Because they're promising you, if you take this magic potion, you can continue to work. But if you don't, you cannot. If you take this magic potion, you can go into places to buy things. But if you don't, you cannot. Do not take the magic potion in which they're trying to sell you or push upon you. Scripture tells us that in the last days, the mighty men and merchants of the world are going to fool people with medication. Are going to fool people with medication. This is not a precursor. This is the event. And many, many within the body of Christ are falling daily. Again, endurance of the saints. Will you have endurance? Will you follow Jesus Christ to the very end? Are you willing to suffer? Yes, we may suffer. For those who have not partaken in this venom, in this toxin, again, I believe that this is, in fact, the white horse of judgment, because, again, when you study the white horse of the apocalypse he's got a bow I've said this many times he's got a bow and a crown when you look up bow in the Greek it actually has interesting explanations of what it is bow means sharp pointed object or instrument bow also means toxin what they are injecting into is a toxin Bow also means simplest of fabric. Hmm. Like the thing that you're wearing on your face out of fear. You also have the crown. Crown in the Latin. And also in Spanish. Is corona. The Lord cannot be any clearer what's going on. The red horse is to follow. Is taking peace from the earth. There is no peace on this earth. We've got volcanoes going off. We've got fires everywhere. We got people marching in the streets trying to fight against this mark, and yet we've got also the fear going out throughout the entire world. There is no peace on the earth at this point. The black horse of judgment is coming. Complete economic collapse is coming. They're already predicting this. They're already talking about food shortages, famine. People, open your eyes. We are in the last days. This is the means in which they're doing it. You do not have to wait any longer. It is here. It is now. It is happening. It is happening. You do not need to wait for the enemy. He is here. It says the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. And he who restraineth him, which is the Holy Spirit, is us, will do so until he is out of the way, being after we are raptured, and the Holy Spirit is removed, and then the man of lawlessness will be revealed who is the Antichrist. So please stop waiting on the Antichrist. Focus your affection, your eyes on Jesus Christ. Sanctify your life. Be cleansed in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Please do this. Live a sanctified, holy, repentful life right now. Give your life, give your heart completely to Jesus Christ. Separate yourself from this world. Please hear these words. Please, the rapture is almost here. You want to be part of the rapture. Please hear these words. Sanctify yourself. Pick up your cross daily. Live for Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day, guys. I love you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.